Hello and salutations, baseball way of life people. I hope the weather's fine by you. We got socked a little bit here in the Garden State of New Jersey today with a snowstorm. Uh, looks like got about eight inches or so here, but it's been a brutal February. It's been very cold or very snowy or icy, but the good news is spring training is here. Our equivalent of Groundhog Day, so it won't be long now until spring is here. Uh, just want to touch on a few things. I said I'll be touching base basically every day, uh, either mentioning some things that were posted on the website or talking about uh, current hot topics in baseball. Well, today I noticed a post, I think it was Robert Rosa, uh, mentioned that Stephen A. Smith said that Babe Ruth was not one of the five best players all time in baseball history. Now, I'm assuming Stephen A. Smith is still the shock jock from ESPN, who probably is making multi-millions with his shtick because he makes statements like that. I personally do not even watch ESPN for sports highlights anymore. I basically concentrate my efforts on the networks, MLB network being the top priority of mine. And being a major hockey fan, I'll watch the NHL network. Uh, I also listen to Sirius Radio as opposed to ESPN Radio or one of the local talk shows as New York Talk Sports Radio has completely gone down the drain. We need Mike and the Mad Dog back. Uh, it's become a circus, but that has nothing to do with baseball, so let's get back on track. I do appreciate XM Radio for the MLB network. It's very informative when I'm in the car or walking around, walking the dog in the morning. I've always had that on. And I would rather listen to that than ESPN. So I'm not sure what the basis of Stephen A. Smith's comment was. I think it was because Babe Ruth didn't play with blacks during his era. But that is ridiculous. One should not be punished for who or against he played with at a given time. Babe Ruth revolutionized the game of baseball. There will never be another Babe Ruth. Uh... As most know, I'm not a Yankee fan, but I've always said Babe Ruth is the greatest player of all time. I tried to be objective, and when you put the numbers up, in the era he played, as opposed to all the great players in other eras, Babe totally dominated offensively. And not only that, he was one hell of a pitcher. Uh, Shohei Hotana has a lot to learn from the Babe as far as playing both positions. <laughs> Uh, Babe was phenomenal as a pitcher and could have been one of the all-time greats. And no one revolutionized the offensive game like Babe did. Uh, no one came close to his offensive production with home runs. He was out homering teams during his playing career. Uh, so for Stephen A. Smith to say that, I want to know, and I don't know who he said the five greatest players were, but I am curious and I would like to compare and contrast them against Babe Ruth. Um, Willie Mays was probably the best five-tool player of all time, but I would still take Babe Ruth if I was starting a franchise. And uh, if anyone else has anything that someone said that's pretty ridiculous, pass it on to me because stuff like that just makes me laugh. And uh, one of the other posts was... Uh, what are your fondest memories of Lou Brock? Well, as a child who grew up in the 70s playing Stratomatic, and I always tried to play the National League teams. I've always been part of since the National League. Uh, just seeing Lou Brock as a base stealer, I'd love to have him get on base. He had the, uh, I guess it was double A. I haven't played Stratomatic in decades, but it's still ingrained in his brain. One of the few things that still remains. Uh, was he double A? So that means... 1 through 17 on a split card, he'd steal a base, and it was just so exciting. I always loved playing the Cardinals of that era, and even watching them, too. Uh, I would see them come and play the Mets 18 times. Nine times they'd come to Shea, nine times out in Bush. And it was a rivalry that was the best. I liked the old days in the National East, and basically all the divisions in baseball were you opened up with your division and you closed with your division. And you basically had West Coast games in August, as I recall, and May, and then 
East was coming back in June, July, most of the time. That was my favorite baseball schedule of all time. And to me, Lou was one of the most exciting players of all time. Uh, and who could forget the Brockabella? Certainly I can't. Uh, I know his war, career war, isn't all that, you know, when it comes to comparing him to others. So I don't know if that meant he was one of those players I thought was better than he really was when I was younger. Or if war was just off base with Lou. But whether he was a great, great player or just a great player, or a very good player, he was one of my all-time favorites to watch. It was the era of the stolen base and AstroTurf, and Lou could make it happen. So I think I've taken enough of your time, and uh, thanks again for tuning in. If you like these videos and just want to see whenever one pops up, subscribe to the channel. It'll come up on your YouTube feed, and like I said, I'll try to do at least one a day. Uh, hopefully you guys are liking them and uh, if not I'm going to keep trying I'm going to make you like these videos so uh, have a good night stay safe uh, don't let the cold weather get you down baseball is right around the corner talk soon <laughs>